Growing up, I've always appreciated experiencing different cultures through travel. Ironically, one place I had no interest in going was Costa Rica. After reading that an estimated 120,000 Americans reside in Costa Rica, I thought to myself, what's so special about this place? Fast forward two years later, I was aspiring to plan my next trip when a YouTube video popped up in my feed describing a Costa Rica vacation. I spontaneously booked my trip and I was blown away. I never expected to fall so in love with this country. God has many beautiful surprises for me every day, but this was an extra special one. The landscape in Costa Rica is raw and untouched. Locals respect the plants and animals. They allow nature to simply breathe. I got to hold a baby goat. I watched Toucan sing merrily just steps outside of my Airbnb. And I saw the cutest little monkeys dancing and playing all over the beaches. I had a hummingbird literally land on my hand. But even more vibrant than the lush green jungle was the spirit of Costa Rica's people. The people in Costa Rica are warm and friendly. Whether you are visiting the coastal areas or the great metropolitan cities, you can always count on receiving a greeting from a stranger. Residents here spend less time worrying and more time laughing. How is it that we in the United States have so much and yet we haven't figured out how to enjoy life as well as the Costa Ricans do? The answer to my question is what I was about to find out. Welcome, I'm Ashley Caston and I empower others to find and to cherish their authentic selves through travel. Subscribe now to be inspired. And now let's go back to Costa Rica. The best word to describe the landscape in Costa Rica is extraterrestrial. It's remarkably rich in biodiversity. Big banana and papaya trees, blooming exotic flowers, orchids galore, and towering coconut palms thrive in this environment. Many small islands encompass the big beaches, just a short kayak ride away. And it's surprisingly normal to see big trees and tropical vegetation growing straight out of the rocks. How is that even possible? One of my favorite places I visited was Naoyaka Waterfall Park, hidden in the Southern Pacific region. Upon arriving at the entrance, we hopped in the bed of a small truck and sailed down a peaceful gravel road lined with big leafy mango trees, wildflowers, and tropical flora. The shining blue sky was speckled with fluffy clouds and I could feel the sun on my face. We hopped off the truck and had a few minutes to admire the stunning views from a tastefully designed terrace before we descended on our hike through the rainforest. Peaceful streams moved through the green splattered jungle and thick vines hung from the towering mossy trees. We finally made it to Naoyaka Falls and man, was it worth the walk. Naoyaka! A double-decker waterfall is massive. Situated in an enormous canyon, the falls span over 200 feet high. My eyes follow the pool of bright blue water, creating a river that flowed through to the back of the forest. As the mist from the waterfall spritzed me playfully with refreshment, I couldn't help but jump up and down. It's times like these when I'm immersed in nature that I truly feel the most relief. Free of distraction, I can keep my attention in the present moment. It puts me into a peaceful flow state, 
where I forget about time and I'm simply swept along in the moment. Connecting with nature is a powerful gift from God. And amid Costa Rica's abundant landscape, it's easy to experience this gift. The locals seem to have a link to all the nature that surrounds them. Here, it becomes almost natural to forget about the worries of life and to admire the blessings we have instead. Aside from the many waterfalls, I loved the mountains. In La Fortuna, the Arenal Volcano and surrounding land boasts hundreds of hot springs. The cloud canopy forest in Monteverde has long swinging bridges over a hundred feet high, which you can walk across if you're brave. Manuel Antonio has gorgeous beaches and many restaurants high up above the rainforest with balconies overlooking the ocean. As I continued exploring, I thought about what created this joyful community. Costa Rica is a third world country. The people here don't have a lot of material possessions, and yet they carry overflowing happiness in their hearts. They lead a life of optimism and strength. And on the days they do stare in the face of true struggles, they don't blink. Instead, they rely on a spirit of gratefulness that comes from within. In the book, Lost Connections, Johan Hari explores a modern mystery. We live during a time when we have more financial and material prosperity than we've ever had. And yet, the Western world is more depressed and anxiety driven than we've ever been. Why? One reason Johan found driving depression and anxiety was materialism. He said we all have an innate need to feel connected, to feel valued, and to feel we're making a difference in the world. And that chasing materialism distracts us from what's really good about life. And that's when it clicked for me. The happiness reflected in Costa Rica's culture was created through their values, relationships, community, nature, a grateful attitude, joy. The essence of Costa Rican culture can be summed up in two words, pura vida, meaning pure life. More than just a saying, pura vida can be a greeting or even an emotional state. When you meet someone on the street and they say they are pura vida, that means today is going amazing for them. A Costa Rican friend explained it to me as a way to be grateful for our life, for the nature that surrounds us, and for our friends and loved ones, knowing that things will not always be as good as we want them to but that we need to embrace the bad moments to enjoy the good ones even more and that the blessings are always there for us. On my last day in Costa Rica, I reflected on everything I learned from this country and it reminded me of something Jesus said, life is not measured by how much you own. It's easy to forget that God's will for us has nothing to do with money. Jesus broke barriers in teaching us that what makes a person special has nothing to do with how much money they have or what they own. Despite having much to be grateful for, I have at times found myself unfulfilled. It wasn't until I realized the correlation between meaningful values and happiness that I began to live a more fulfilling lifestyle. If you're feeling disconnected or lonely in your city, you may find your slice of happiness in Costa Rica. Peace is abundant here. And while you're looking out at the ocean, playing in the waterfalls, or sipping on a chai tea latte, remember that not all wealth is material. Just ask the people of Costa Rica. Thank you for watching. 
subscribe now for more awesome content.